there's never been anybody to prove it. I'm Sonny Lipton, I'm Jack Dippy, there's no one like me. I'm from their club, there's no one that can match me. My name is Nassim the Dream. I'm a 15-year-old amateur boxer, giving my views and opinions on everything boxing related. I'm here to give you guys consistent, reliable, unbiased commentary. Boxing is my passion, staying in is my hobby. Hope you enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. So, according to BoxingScene.com, Devin Haney will now be fighting George Campbell Jr. in a rematch because George Campbell Jr. has now activated his rematch clause. Uh, truthfully be told, I don't want to see this fight. Because Devin Haney, he just dominated every single round of this fight. I could be fair and maybe give George Campbell Sr. one round at best, but to be realistic, he didn't win any rounds in this fight. He talked all this trash as shown in this clip. My belts. Earned them the hardest way. Not like this guy. Got given a present. I earned mine. This, this is a rat. This is a rat. This is a snitch. This is an informant. And you know what? This is your countryman. Your own countryman. You're going behind his back. So you know what? On Sunday, I'm going to whip your ass. And you know when you get back to Las Vegas, you'll be on the lookout for uh, the local team for my Lopez. Because he'll be looking for you too. This guy acts like a gangster here, and that gangster is as fake as that belt. Show me that fake belt. Where's that fake belt that you really earned? Show me. The guy likes to run, he likes to move. Nothing special. The holes are there. He's been hurt. Look. Yeah, calling Devin Haney a fake gangster. And you know, another racist assumption, just assuming that just because Devin Haney is black, that he is automatically a gangster. Um, calling Devin Haney a fake champion, he has a fake belt. Well, we all know that Vasily Lomachenko vacated the belt to become a franchise champion because he knew that Devin Haney had a very, very high chance of beating him, and even more so now as Devin Haney is undisputed lightweight champion. Calling Devin Haney a rat and a format is hilarious to me. When you were sparring with Manny Pacquiao for the Jeff Horn fight, which Jeff Horn is your own countryman. Also, another thing that makes him a hypocrite is him hating on Tim DeZoo. Saying that Tim DeZoo, he doesn't sell out arenas, uh, he only sells out small out arenas. When Tim DeZoo actually does 100,000 pay-per-view buys and you only do 50,000 pay-per-view buys in Australia. Um, George Campbell's junior, man. This is the reason why people don't like you compared to Tim DeZoo. Because Tim DeZoo is a respectable dude, alright? He talks trash, but just for the fight, alright? He fights good opponents, alright? He is a good fighter, alright? And he has trying to fight Jermell Charlo Beauty Champion. All right, he's trying to fight the best. You try to duck Devin Haney by fighting Vasily Lomachenko, a man who was in an ongoing war. Just, just absolutely ridiculous from George Campbell Jr. All right, you talked all this trash. Devin Haney has holes in his games. When it's proven that you had the holes in the game. You didn't have the, the talent or the skill to, to even give Devin Haney a challenge in the ring. You didn't have the skill to cut off the ring when Devin Haney was in a lateral movement to get out of the way of punches or to time Devin Haney. You, yes, you caught Devin Haney with the occasional right hand. That's just to be expected in the fight. There's a hard argument that you won none of these rounds, okay? This fight was embarrassing. Like, I thought that Devin Haney was going to win, but not to this badly extent. It's sad that Jojo Diaz, who was not a champion, was able to do much better than you. At least Jojo Diaz clearly won two or three rounds. You didn't really clearly win any rounds. Devin Haney dominated his fight by going down to the body with the jab, the straight right hand, using his jab to time Campbell so many times. Uh, you know, moving out of the way of punches, using a check left hook to counter George Campbell Jr. George Campbell Jr. was only hitting uh, arms, shoulders, and all that mess, and just looking extremely wild, similar to Oscar Valdez. It's just, it's a bad look for Campbell Jr. And I really don't think that the Australian government is going to pay to see him get, get whooped by Devin Haney again. But if the rematch does happen, like they said it is, um, I'm picking Devin Haney to beat George Campbell Sr. once again. I think this time he's going to even do it in a more dominant fashion. Might even stop Campbell Sr. And I think that's a very uh, likely chance of happening because he managed to actually hurt Campbell Sr. in the eighth round and made him back, back off. And as seen as this uh, punch that, the, his punches per round just started to decrease round by round to round. It's, it's just sad for Campbell Sr. You really know he's going to give up by Devin Haney. And all you weirdos out there who like to love to hate on Devin Haney says he has no power. Uh, he has no chin. He took all George Campbell Sr.'s best shots. Uh, George Campbell Sr. has respectable power. I will give him that. But he was able just to dominate the fight. And he must have some power considering that, like I said, he's able to stun Campbell Sr. Jr., hurt George Campbell Sr., and is able to keep all of his points off him, including Jorge Linares and Jojo Diaz, and especially uh, Jorge Linares because Jorge Linares is a hard puncher in the uh, lightweight division. That being said though, like I said, I think Devin Haney is going to put his combinations together even more in the second fight, uh, sit on his toes a little more, and I think he's going to go in there and try to beat George Campbell Jr. now. I hope that he stops George Campbell Jr. That will be the cherry on the top because I can't stand Campbell Jr. Uh, like I said, he's, just, he, he's the biggest scumbag in boxing next to Tyson Fury. And to be honest, I really hope that if Devin Haney, he goes in there and he destroys Campbell Jr., we can see Devin Haney versus either Vasily Lomachenko or, better yet, Devin, 
my mistake, um, Javante Davis. That's two of the top fighters in the division, Tank versus um, Haney. And that would be equivalent to Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence at lightweight. That would be a great fight to see. And I wouldn't be mad at the Vasily Lomachenko fight because, you know, Vasily Lomachenko is apparently on the pound for pound list when he has 17 fights, two losses, and it's a bigger type job in the box next to Campbell Jr. I would love to see that. But to wrap this up, uh, George Campbell Jr., this dude is a real rat and true, true fakest champion in the sport of boxing. But to wrap this up, this is not seeing the dream. Rocking his head and they say it's asleep. I hot shot with another one. Peace. Oh, is everything is more process. Out of all deception, I got it on purpose. <laughs>